Perry Rose, welcome to Norway. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Uh, you played for one of the most successful Arsenal teams uh, ever, but uh, not many Norwegians are too familiar uh, about uh, who you are. And what do you think that's uh, all about? Um, I actually think I'm remembered more for what happened off the pitch and around it and what, what happened on the pitch. But as you said, I was lucky enough to play for George Graham's side for like six years. I was lucky to be at round at the right time. You you did play for about 150 games uh, for Arsenal, but uh, you were mostly on the bench. Uh, how was the life as a as a, as a sub? Um, it could be frustrating sometimes because obviously I was playing in a team of internationals, and some of the benches were a little bit small. Some of them were uh, very uncomfortable. I had a problem with some of the benches uh, in my career. Uh, some of the stretches that I was carried off, and I had a couple of problems with them as well. So. Well, of course, one of the things that you are remembered for is not what happened on the uh, pitch, but off, actually in the dugout. Uh, what happened? Um, we was playing Sheffield Wednesday away, um, and it was pretty boring. Nigel Winterburn was playing right back, and I could just vaguely remember, I think he picked up a, uh, a ball to take a throw in, and he, he threw it into Niall Quinn. And then Nigel scored once every decade. Nigel Winterburn never scored a goal, because he, he never got forward enough to shoot anyone. Anyway. Waits for Winterburn. Oh, it's in! Nigel Winterburn has scored. Everybody jumps out um, onto the pitch to, like, to celebrate, and I uh, unfortunately jump up, and then didn't realise that the dugout was built for umpa lumpa, so it was only a small dugout. So as I jumped up, I smacked my head on the top of the dugout roof, and um, then knocked myself out. You were completely knocked out. Sparko completely I had a, a cartoon um, like a Tom and Jerry lump come up within about a <laughs> nanosecond. Terry Groves, the Arsenal sub, looks as though he's the man in trouble. And then we had an injury, and then uh, George Graham says, just nudged Gary Lewin, the physio at the time, he's England physio now, and said, get Groves on, get him on warmed up. And he turned around to me to say, like, bit yourself warmed up, and I was completely sparko, completely in a different world. So then the physio, Gary Lewin, turns around to George Graham and says, actually, Gaffer, I think we could be struggling here because the sub's unconscious. Datoen er 20. januar 1988. Det er et halvt år til Lillehammer får tildelt vinter-OL. Singelen ut mot Hagve med Rune Rudberg slippes i dag, og folk tror fortsatt at Milli Vanilli synger selv. På Hillsborough stadion spilles en gør kjedelig køppkamp mellom Arsenal og Sheffield Wednesday. Det lukter 0-0 lang vei, men plutselig blir det mål. Så plutselig at Perry Gross feirer seg selv bevisstløs. Og til å rekonstruere dette så har vi med oss... Perry Groves, Arsenal substitute. Johan Nigel Winterburn, målskårer. Og en politimann, en dommer og noen ja, relativt utrente fotballspillere. I was on the bench again and it was Winterburn. cold Yorkshire night. I was freezing and couldn't even feel my toes. The game had nil-nil written all over it. They could have played for 10 years and no one would have scored. But then, with about 20 minutes to go, Nigel Winterburn had a throw that was picked up by Niall Quinn. Niall flicked the ball back to Nigel, who out of desperation had a shot from about 30 yards. His shot was weak and it P-rolled along the ground, but the Sheffield Wednesday goalkeeper made a real mess of it, and into net it went. I leapt up in the air in excitement, but forgot I was deep inside the dugout. I collapsed in the corner, and as everyone continued cheering, I had knocked myself unconscious. As I come to myself, I saw the medic Gary Lewin standing over me. You're going to warm up! But when Gary saw me, he realised there was a problem. He came out with a line that you don't hear too often in football. Hey, the sub's unconscious! And it may be somebody on the bench that's out of order here. The ref came over to ask me whether I was fine. I told him I was, although I wasn't. I had a bump on my head like some cartoon character, and the Wednesday fans who saw me were laughing their heads off, even though their team had just let in a goal. 